guys, what's up? It's Lauren from the YouTube channel Lauren DIY, and today I'm going to be showing you five super simple tips and techniques for making duct tape even easier to work with. And these tips and tricks are great for beginners and also your duct tape experts. So for the first tip, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the easiest release with the duct tape, so I know it can get kind of frustrating. So because I'm right-handed, I'm going to put this in my left hand, and then using my right hand, I'm going to pull in one continuous motion with the sticky side down. And now for the second tip, I'm going to show you how to remove the tape from your fingers because I have spent so many minutes and wasted so much time trying to get the tape off my fingers. So I'm just going to go ahead and snip this off. And so usually our sticky side is facing up. So what you're going to do is put one finger on both sides here and you're just going to roll right off and your fingers won't stick to the tape and it's so much easier. So now for tip three, I'm going to show you two really, really easy ways to fold tape on top of each other without any creases. So with my piece here that I already have cut, I'm going to take my fingers and go about one third on each side of the way in and just kind of hold it there and then using my other two fingers, fold this right on top of each other here. So you have control of both sides and then starting in the middle, press down and work your ways out slowly. And you're not always going to fold it perfectly, so if you have a little bit of extra on the end here, the easiest way to get rid of it is to actually cut some of the tape off as well as the adhesive. I'm going to go ahead and just snip a tiny bit of this off, and that will get rid of that any adhesive hanging off the side. And you have a perfectly folded double-sided tape. And now for the next one, I'm just going to put this aside and cut myself two pieces. So I'm going to lay one of these with the sticky side up, just like this. And then taking my other piece, all we're going to do is hold it at the very tips of the edges here and droop it down so that the middle gets lined up here and we have full control. And then, working outwards again, just push all the way out and get rid of all the creases and bubbles. And same thing again, if it's not perfect, just go ahead and snip off any extra. So when you're trimming, just make sure that you're including a little bit of the tape as well as the adhesive, and that'll just make sure it gives you a super clean edge. So the next tip is for when you're working with duct tape sheets. So the easiest way to do this is start by peeling the corners a little bit just like that, and then we're gonna lay the sheet down, and then instead of pulling at the tape, all we're gonna do is pull right on this backing here, and just remove that. So it just helps so that the actual duct tape doesn't curl, and our backing sheet is gonna curl instead. And you can either just discard of this, or you can also use it as a sticker backing for other projects. And for our last tip, which I think is the most useful, is to use a pair of scissors with a titanium non-stick blade. So we've all been there where scissors are covered in goo after working with duct tape. So finding a pair of scissors like our Duck Edition Fiskars are great and it's so, so helpful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video full of tips and techniques for working with duct tape. Make sure if you have any tips and techniques that you've learned while working with duct tape, leave them in the comments down below for other users. And if there's anything specific that you guys would like to see, make sure to let us know as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you're subscribed and I will see you next time. See ya.